Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Cooking Conversations. Today we are making the viral TikTok baked feta pasta. I'm sure you have seen it. It's supposed to be really, really good, but I have to be honest with you guys. I've never had feta cheese before, so I know this is going to be really good because I've saw the videos and it looks really creamy and it looks really good. It is super, super easy and it's um, very beginner friendly. So I got all my ingredients here. If you haven't seen the video, this is what you'll need. Some cherry tomatoes. I got two eight ounce, no, 10 ounce buckets of the cherry tomatoes. You'll need some feta cheese, the chunk kind. I looked all over for this cheese and nobody had it. I don't know what the big deal is. It's not, you know, that popular. Of course, you need your salt and pepper for seasoning. You need some olive oil because you're going to drizzle it over the tomatoes and the cheese. They put a little bit of oregano in it, a little bit of basil, and four cloves of garlic. So you're going to put it in your pan, drizzle it all together, bake it at 400 for about 25 minutes, and we'll have our taste test at the end. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and let everybody know about the cooking conversations. All right, I'm going to get this all prepped, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we got our washed cherry tomatoes. And I'm just going to take these little leaves off. I'm sure it's not going to hurt, but we don't want to eat the leaves. Okay, so we got our cherry tomatoes. And you get your feta cheese. And you put it right in the middle. So you make some room. Ooh, this feta cheese smells really strong, you guys. So we got our feta cheese. You drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, this is the olive oil that I'm using. So you just drizzle it. Okay, a little bit on the cheese. On the tomatoes. Okay. And now we are going to season it. We're going to put just a little sprinkle of salt. Not too much. You know cheese, all cheese have salt. Okay, a little bit of salt on the cheese. All right, a little sprinkle of pepper. Okay, on the cheese, we have our oregano. Now, oregano is really strong too, so just put a little bit of the oregano on there, on the tomatoes, and basil. I love, love, love basil, so I'm gonna put an extra basil on mine. <laughs> All right, so, we have our garlic right here. I am going to chop this up. In the meantime, I am going to stir this and mix it so all the tomatoes get a little bit of the seasoning, a little bit of the oil. And now I am going to chop up my garlic. So give me a minute. I'm gonna chop up the garlic and then put it in. And that's, that's easy. Bake it for 25 minutes to 400. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we got our garlic. That was four cloves. I'm just gonna sprinkle it evenly all around. And we bake it. All right, so it's going into the oven. All right, it's going into the oven. Oops, at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. So while your, pasta, um, while your tomatoes and stuff is in the oven, Get you one cup of pasta and put it in your pot and let that cook. Uh-oh, so I'm stuck in there. Let it cook and then by the time it's ready, we'll be able to mix it all together. All right, you guys, here it is. It looks really good and it smells delicious. Oh my God, this looks good. Oh, this looks good, you guys. All right, so I am going to get my forks and we're gonna mix it all up and add the pasta and I'll be right back. Mm. All right, you guys, it smells really good. Okay, so I gotta mash the tomatoes. We're gonna mash up the tomatoes. Here's our fork. Ooh, it smells good. The garlic and the tomato. Oops. Be careful. This is very hot. Okay, so let's mash up the tomatoes. I don't really 
is, remember when I first opened the feta cheese, it felt, smelled really strong. It don't smell as strong anymore. It smells like garlic and tomatoes. Mmm. All right, so here's the cheese. Okay. Okay, let's see, you guys. Mix it all up. And my pasta's ready. Okay, now I smell the cheese. Let's see, what does it smell like? Um, I don't know. It smells like cheese. <laughs> all right, so let's give this a mix with all the tomatoes and all the juice. Oh, it looks good. Okay, and I'm going to add our pasta. Okay, and... You can use whatever pasta you have. I use penne because that's what I had. So here I'm just going to add it. And then we're going to plate it. Okay, and taste it. This was just one cup of pasta, which looks like it's going to be enough. So let's get it all in here. All right, I'll be right back for the taste. Guys, it's all mixed. See what it looks like? Let me get a little plate. And a spoon. Got my spoon. All right, here it goes. So this is gonna be my little taste. It looks, I'm telling you, it looks really good. It looks really creamy. It smells very garlicky. I don't really smell the cheese. When I've stirred it up, I smelt it, but let's see. Here it goes, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, garlic. Oh. Yes. Mmm, the cherry tomatoes are sweet and tangy. And even though the feta cheese Smelt really strong when I took it out of the package. I was like, oh my lord, here we go. It's not that strong. Mmm. The strongest flavor is the cherry tomato. I'm really surprised, you guys. I'm telling you, I was a little nervous. I was thinking, oh my god, what if I don't like it? But this is good. Mmm. <laughs> okay. It's creamy and tangy. Season perfectly. You don't need no more salt. You don't need no more pepper. The cheese is good. And it's good. It, does, it tastes almost like tangy, like it has lemon in it. It don't, but maybe that's the flavor of the cheese, and I just didn't know what it's, the cheese tastes like. That's it. I know. <laughs> this is turning into a mukbang because I keep eating it, but it's really good. Okay. This is a do-over. Lemony, tangy. Cherry tomato, cheesy, creamy. It's good. Very easy to make. All right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you.